Okay. Good, good. Let's see what time is it. Good, uh, happy lunch time. Uh, good afternoon and good evening. And welcome to another episode of me just doing my thing. <laughs> Um, uh, before we start today, yes, exactly, we're looking at something slightly different uh, compared to what we said yesterday. Uh, if you'll remember yesterday, oops, I'm forever sitting on, <laughs> I'm forever sitting on my spooky chair. Uh, if you remember yesterday, we talked about, what did we talk about? A whole bunch of things that are irrelevant. <laughs> uh, but mostly we we talked about the. Um, Today being a day of Genshin Impact, because that apparently won the sponsorship war you guys have. Um, except, of course, uh, in between yesterday and today, as we've discovered, um, our, our, our our sponsors came through. Or, I should say, our, our proper sponsors came through, and not you lot. <laughs> and uh, so what we will be doing, uh, we will have Genshin after this. Uh, but first, we will actually... We will we will see how this kind of art is made. Um, yeah, you guys have seen this before. I mean, I've shared at least some of it with you guys. Um, but essentially, I, I I take a popular anime and I take the name of the female pro protagonist and I write it. That's 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 really all it, all there is to it. And it's really to help me practice my brushwork because I haven't done so in a while. And so this is really just a way for me to do my own practicing. And so I clean up the image a little bit. And that's 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 really all there is to it. So uh, our, our generous sponsor uh, decided that he or she wanted to see, see how I did this. Uh, I, I discouraged them from doing so because it's a really short process. So uh, instead, we are doing both this as you can see, it's basically already done, and um, and I'm just going to export it now. And we are not only doing this, but also doing uh, a a a shantri, so a a Chinese traditional Chinese scenery art piece that we will, will that essentially a two two for one kind of deal, right? Because she, she was um or he or he or he oh. Uh, <laughs> willing to to donate quite a bit and so i i didn't want her to just, uh, just yeah it's it, it, <laughs> it's fine it's fine it's all fine it's all fine it's all good um <laughs> uh these are all one take so we're not gonna start again anyway so that that was the um the 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 anime girl from of today uh akemi homura from that 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 defying expectation magical girl show what was it madoka that's right that's right how did you know that <laughs> are you sure you 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 you're 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 in control of the financial system as opposed to just like a weave underneath <laughs> uh yeah anyway so we're going to finish in fact, yeah, uh, just just as a shout out to my donor, um, yeah, the the I'm waving my hands around like I don't know why. Um, the the brushwork is really that simple. I write it on a piece of paper and I import it in. I I change nothing about it except I filter out the um the the texture of the paper underneath by light lightening the the picture and then I darken the picture to make sure that the black remains black ish and so it's 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 a fairly simple and completely uninvolved process which is why you know it's 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 easier to to <laughs> to show you more <laughs> to, to show you a little bit more and yeah so we're going to take uh, we're going to continue from yesterday uh, yesterday if uh, the more enterprising of you will notice that I made this horizon picture and that was done um, and we're going to change it for today we're going to improve it in that I want to 
just give me one quick second. Essentially what I want to do is instead of the horizon being the horizon, we are now going to turn it into dawn. So compared to yesterday, today will be dawn. And I, I had this in mind already yesterday when, when I did it. I just didn't really focus very much on it. And it ends up being... being quite simple. Let's read. Why are, oh, it's because you're transparent. Okay, we don't want that amount of darkness. Maybe like that. And then the ellipse, there's going to be no still for... Oh, that's interesting, actually. Can you guys... Oh, you can't see... You can't see the pop-ups. So essentially, I'm I'm looking at the stroke color, and the stroke color itself is this gradient. And it'd be kind of interesting to use that gradient to show something, but I don't think we'll do that today. Not today, maybe some other time. <laughs> but what we do need to take care of is actually uh, the way these rivers flow, because they're ending stroke color should be this color. See, it flows into nothingness. Just like this should float into nothingness. It's currently floating in, into white because obviously before this, the background was white. Oh, and also the central portion. This needs to go away so that... There we go. You can see that it's sort of. I would I would like it if I could change the um, the width of a line as I'm going down the line, but I don't don't actually think that's is it possible. It might be possible actually. I don't know what that means. Oh, you can't see the button I'm pressing, but it's okay. Uh, there is there are more features in Affinity Designer that I should play around with um, in the future. What, would you rather I play around on stream and just never get to whatever it was you paid for Genshin Impact that you uh, that you paid for? <laughs> See, so originally I wanted to have the sunrise, but it's not looking very good to me. Like it's it's. I think partially it is the the ground being gray, but I don't know how else to change it, if you know what I mean. Because because of course, if if we go into these light grays, we're just messing around with with the white balance of everything, right? And 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 that's. Actually, that's not a bad idea. That's not a bad idea. Okay, that's what we'll do. Of course, it means we have to change the color of our river, but that's not the end of the world. So I actually like this fact that now the river is flowing essentially in reverse color, right? It used to be the darker of the two. In fact, we should make it lighter. Um, and then, of course, we'll have to change this part. Someone check the time on the on the video. Ten minutes. Perfect. I mean, it's not it's not like we're in that much of a hurry. So, but still, that's that's good. I like that. Um, it doesn't fit very well with this background. Maybe we should go a little, a little orange. Oh, I'm going to get in so much trouble. <laughs> uh, I have a friend who is a color, 
like who one of her one of her hobbies don't ask me why is uh, color theory and I have a distinct feeling that she's gonna give me crap for this is this too I feel like it's not it's too blue Yeah, that actually looks better. So we're going to have to once again change this. Not a big worry. I just want to make sure that the water actually disappears into into the scenery as opposed to being, you know, this man-made lake thing. And that looks good. Do we remember what this was before? I think it was 10. No, it's and I'm going to change this to 20. Make it a little greener. Make the background um, 95. Yeah, maybe. I think so. I like it. I like it. It's it's not my best work, but we're not always looking to do our best work like every day, right? Because this is this is practice. So I I tend to I tend to think that this is not it's not bad. It's interesting. I'll I'll, I'll put it that way. Um, I wonder if there's a way we can. So I'm gonna move that down there, down there, because if there's a way we can show the um, the haze of the um, why can't I change position? Like, uh, what I want to do is I want to show the haze of. The, the gradient, you know, the gradient in the sky of a new dawn, right? And so if we're looking east. Oh, what if I did radius? But well, why is it centered over there? Is it because. Okay. Just bear with me for one quick second. While we do this thing, um, oh, oops. So it's it's radiating the gradient. I I kind of want it to be in here, right? So, um, in in the center. I'm gonna have to turn this. I think I can do that. Yeah. Oh, that's that's great. That's great. That that's that's genuinely great. Um, so we're gonna make this 1200, and we're gonna just play with nice. Our problem is now this, and for that we'll just turn down the transparency of... Nice. Nice. And I think this one. Turn down that, so that the mountains... You can only see the outlines of the mountains uh, that are that are covering the sun. Oh, that's that's nice. I like... Um, I might have to widen it just a little bit. No, I don't mean widen it, do I? What do I mean? Let's see. It starts white here, and then it does that. So if I do this... No, midpoint should be 50%. Should be 
which just means that we need to bring our sun down just a little bit. And yes, I know I I, I appreciate that. You're you're absolutely correct that I'm I am sort of playing within the limitations that are given to me by the software or rather by the limitations of my own understanding of the software but i'm i'm okay with that i'm okay with that for now at least like if if we ever end up having to do more of this i'll i'll study the software that's not that's literally not the end of the world right oh and the ellipse is ah uh, okay 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 so what if we did radio no same thing Don't mess with a good thing. How does that look? I like it. You can, you can, at least I can still tell it's blue on my monitor. My monitor is, um, my monitor is spec to Adobe RGB. So it should be okay. <laughs> does that mean? Come on. <laughs> uh, color spaces. Okay. Um, the colors that our eyes can perceive is different than the colors that our monitors can themselves display. Give me one quick second, I'll be right back. So the colors that, that our eyes can perceive are much broader than the colors that our monitors can, um, can, can display. And so the mark of a good monitor is whether it can... 16 minutes, okay, well, we'll let me finish talking about this and then we'll swap to Kenshin. Um, the mark of a good monitor is that it is it has the capabilities of displaying more color space, right? And that that all all that really means is that it it uh, it is more accurate to real life because it can display the individual differences between different colors, or it can display more kinds of more different colors. And really, that's all there is to it. And you know, if, if a monitor is calibrated, that means the red that I'm seeing on my monitor is the actual red that I mean. And the red that you see, you know, on your monitor might be different from the red. Uh, let's take the philosophy out of it and, and say there are absolute... Uh, we're, we're talking only about wavelengths, right? Because there, if, if, if you think about it, there are... You, you can imagine that because of the ways that our eyes and everything is grown, nothing is exact, precise. And we see that in fluorescence all the time. And so the idea is, is the red that I'm seeing exactly the same color as the red that you're seeing? And obviously we can never, we can never really um, figure that out because the wavelength, even though the wa wavelength remains the same philosophically and actually bio biologically, uh, you know, some people's eyes are more sensitive to red, and so they'll perceive the same wa wavelength with, with with more vividness than others. So none of that philosophy, and I'm waving my hands around like a... <laughs> <laughs> yes, exactly, like one of those. Um, uh, for reference, what was said was baboon. Um, uh, Color space, uh, Adobe SR, uh, Adobe RBG, RGB. Essentially, all I'm saying is the colors that I'm seeing should be quite accurate. So, if someone were to actually take this with a color space, uh, with a proper color space monitor, or with you know a, a printer, they should see something very similar. Sound good? Good. Okay. So, uh, thank you very much to our generous donor for uh, donating for this particular cast. We will now take a two minute break while I reconfigure the cast and start it up again for Genshin Impact because, I mean, our donor can choose to if she wants to to, to watch, but I'm not going to put it into the same stream, uh, you know, for, 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 for her to, to look at next, uh, like when, when I send it to her, right? Because that's, that's kind of rude. So uh, I shall see you guys in three minutes. Good? Good. Bye. Oh, 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 no, 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 I do have to say this. <laughs> uh, don't do fire, don't do chrome down on Firefox. Okay, now we're good. Bye. <laughs>